The following is a class on the Srimad Bhagavatam, first canto, fifth chapter, text number nine through eleven, given by His Divine Grace A. C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded in June of 1969 at the Nubandaban Farm Community. न तथा बासुदेवस्य महिमा जनुवन्यते The defect in that day was being pointed out by his spiritual master, Narad. <coughs> that if you have labored very hard in present, presenting dharmadaya, dharmadaya means Religiosity, economic development, dharma adaya. Adaya means beginning. That means human civilization should begin <coughs> from religious principle. Other it is not human civilization, dharma adaya. Therefore, in civilized nation, <coughs> very religion, maybe in different forms, but religion must be there. The same thing is explained by Narayana, that dharmāda, first religion, then economic development. Not economic development first. And then sense gratification. And then uh, liberation. The, the whole plan should be that uh, people should understand that he is not animal. Uh, first thing, this is education. In the animal society, there is no religion. But as soon as you claim to be in human society or civilized society, then there must be religion. The economic development secondary, uh, next. Uh, of course, according to uh, the, um, medical consciousness, they say, uh, atmanam, atmanam means they say body. But atma means this body, this mind, and the soul. Real meaning of atma is soul. So there is a verse, atmanam sarvatu rakshet. First of all, try to save your soul. I think Lord Jesus Christ has also spoken something like that. If after gaining everything, one loses his spirit soul, then what does he get? Is it not? Uh, this is the principle. Atmanu Sarvatu Raksha. One should give first protection to the Atma. What is that protection? Uh, protection from the on flat of maya, material nature. That is protection. <coughs> At the present moment, I am under the influence of maya, really under the influence of the three qualities of maya. So, when I get the opportunity of this human form of life, my first business is how to protect this atma, soul. The soul is my can't migrating from one body to another. How foolish they have become. We are enjoying this nice body, human body or American body or very beautiful body. 
But next moment they do not know what body I am going to get. But those who are in the knowledge how transmigration takes place, they can say, what kind of body you are going to take next by your activity. <clears throat> we are preparing our body in our present life. Just as we are taken to Krishna consciousness, our attempt is to prepare for having a spiritual body. That is the whole attempt. And those who are not in Krishna consciousness, in material consciousness, they will have also a body, but this material body means full of misery. Any body you take. Either you take the body of king or you take the body of a dog. The body is misery. <coughs> it does not mean that when there is disease, only the dog's body suffers, not the king's body. Everyone has to suffer. So, Atmanam Sarvato Rakshet means, real meaning is, you should give protection to the Atma. Uh, means, trying to save this uh, soul, your soul, or yourself. From this transmigration of the body. And the plain truth, very simple truth is given in Bhagavad Gita. Krishna says, Janma Karma me vidvam si jana pitatva. Simply by understanding what is Krishna. That is also not very difficult to understand. If you follow the scriptural intent, what is Krishna? Krishna, Satyadananda Vidraha, he is not ordinary man. His body is Satyadananda, full of bliss, eternal, and full of knowledge. So it is very difficult to understand. He, he has given proof that Krishna is always in joy, bliss. And Krishna is in instruction, knowledge. There is no comparison. Bhagavad Gita and so many other instructions. Uh, and if you tell that, uh, just like the sun, sun is eternal, day and night. It is our adjustment of this planet. But Krishna is there. Just like the sun is there always in the sky. But we think this is night, this is day. And that is adjustment of this planet. Similarly, Krishna is always there. When he is visible, we say that Krishna is living. And when he is not visible, we say Krishna is dead. So simply by understanding Krishna, Janma Kanma Madhidvam. Talk in truth, not physically, not by your uh, fertile brain, speculation, like this, like birth, maybe, perhaps. Not this nonsense. Let's try to understand Krishna. So, Simply by understanding Krishna, Janma Karma Madhidvam Jujanati Tattvata Taktadiham, that person, after leaving this body, uh, Mami, we go to Krishna. And who can go to Krishna unless he has got a spiritual body? The same Satchidananda Vigra. Unless one has the same Vigra. Uh, just like we can understand that in a, when you take birth in a particular place, say in Greenland, it is always uh, full with ice or some other place. So you have got a particular type of body, wet. 
They are the animals, they are the man, they have got the particular type of part of it and they are. This is their core. Uh, we cannot. Uh. Similarly, when you go to Krishna Loka, you will have a particular type of body. What is a particular type of body? Satchidananda Vidya. Any planet you go, you have must have a particular body. So, tapta de hankunat janmanaiti. And as soon as you get eternal body, then you don't have to come back again to this material world. And that body, Satchidananda Vidraha body means one who is uh, completely conversant with this service, devotional service also. Because you cannot enter into the abode of Krishna with your predominating uh, propensity. In this material world, our propensity is predominant. We want to predominate over you. You want to predominate over me. That is the competition here. So, uh, when we give up this predominating false, predominating spirit, I am Krishna, I am the Lord of all I serve, this nonsensical understanding, when you give up, surrender, Vasudeva <coughs> Sarvam, you understand Krishna is everything, I am simply part and parcel of Krishna. To if we remain part and parcel of Krishna, then our freedom is at an actual. Uh, otherwise, there is no freedom. There is all. Uh, Manadham, I am thinking, I am God, I am Krishna, I am this, I am that. Nothing. This will simply put me under the classes of my. <coughs> Therefore, Atmanam Sarvato Rakshet means to put oneself in this Krishna consciousness movement. Then your Atma, yourself, is protected. Atmanam Sarvato Rakshet. Tato Dharma. Tato Dharma. After you understand, people do not understand what is his business. We think that my business is to eat, sleep, mat and die. That's all. This is animalism. Simply they are misled by animalistic civilization. Yeah. Eating, sleeping, that's all. Yeah. Have good house for sleeping. <coughs> Why? Now these boys and girls are sleeping on the floor. Sleeping on open air, what is it doing there? The animals also can sleep. It is a practice also. They don't require any gorgeous arrangement for sleeping or being. Uh, we should simply try to educate our Krishna karma. Other things are sabadi. That is Atman who says it. Atmanu Sadhguru Rakshit Tatu Dharma. Dharma. This Dharma. Dharma means religion. Actually, religion is not exact equivalent of the word Dharma. Dharma, as I have explained several times, you know, uh, Dharma Dhrida. Dharma means you exist by some natural uh, symptom. That is called dharma. Everyone has got some natural symptom. That is dharma. According to Sanskrit meaning, that is dharma. This light, this light is a, a, a substance. What is this dharma? <coughs> Religion, to give light to illuminate. So without illumination uh, there is no meaning of life. Similarly, your dharma, what is your religion? Your religion is to serve Krishna. That is your religion. Uh, 
Now it is served in different way according to time, circumstances, country. That is a different. But your religion is to serve God. That is a religion. Vibhish Sarupa Nitta Krishna Das, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, immediately gives you the definition of religion or your occupation. Natural duty, natural function, always mind that. Just like the life, natural function is to give illumination, prakash. Similarly, your natural function is to serve Krishna. That's all. We have no other reason. That is all. No other reason. When you understand this convincingly, uh, uh, then we are situated in our religion. That's why Krishna says uh, in the beginning of Bhagavad Gita, he says, Dharma Samasthapanathaya, just to re establish religion. Dharma Samasthapanathaya. People forget nature's material nature uh, function is there to put you into illusion. Always. So our forgetfulness is also another illusion. We forget our relationship with God, Krishna. Then Adharma. Uh, that is, instead of becoming servant of Krishna, I become servant of so many things. I say I become servant of my family, servant of my uh, country, society, humanity, uh, cats, dogs, so many. Servant I remain, but I become servant of so many things. So I have to uh, convert from this servitorship to Krishna's servitorship. Uh, therefore Krishna says dharma samasthavana. This is dharma. What dharma, what kind of religion Krishna established? He said that I incarnate to establish religion. He never came uh, to establish a Hindu religion or Christian religion or uh, Mahavadan religion or Buddha religion. He established real religion. What is the real religion? There was Anman Parishad. If you have all this nonsense, so-called religion and faith, to simply surrender. That is religion. That is real religion. Ah. All other, any other religion, who does not teach how to surrender and to die, uh, that is pretension, that is not religion. According to Vedic understanding, this is religion. This is natural fact. First of all, you try to protect yourself, then take to real religion, natural function of the Atma. Then try to, because we are in this material condition, we require economic development. So that is very easy. It's not nice giving you oh, enough land to that little world. Uh, the animals are there. The cows will give you milk. If you kill a little land, you get some grain. That is sufficient. Economic uh, development. You don't require big factories, uh, rich workshop, and whole day and night to motorcycle the same, going this way and that way. There is no necessity hmm? for economic development. This is my simply at the end he will eat some grains or some of that little and by whole day. Uh, therefore they are called Mura. According to Bhagavad Gita, they are rested. Mura ash. That is ash. So the beast, a bird, who takes water man. Low, three times, uh, four times, 
โหเลสวายเปฏิทิเอมอสลับกราเดี๋ยว has no knowledge that I take the morsel of grass and do, I do, and why whole day I wear this so much torn up clothing of the waterman? We have no experience of the ashes business in India. Ah, the waterman loads the ash three times, and he goes to the uh, water side and. The waterman washes all these clothing in some bank of river or river or whatever. Again, evening, the ash brings back the clothing. So uh, the karmis that have been described in the Bhagavad Gita, mula, ash, simply unnecessary. Ah, uh, what? We are not whole. Without taking care of the atma, without taking care of the religion, we are not. What is it? You are losing yourself. Huh? You do not know what life you are going to get next life. Huh? You don't care for the never mind whatever life I get. This life I got, let me work hard and accumulate money. And where the money will be? Ah, in the bank. My sons and my daughters, the lingya. This is what. That stuff would be to not be to that. Body, all body consciousness. Ata grihat se to sita to vitti janasya moho hai. This is illusion. This is illusion. Simply walking like that, without knowing what is the end of life, what is the destiny of life. Uh, all assets we all discuss. Uh, <laughs> uh, Krishna consciousness moment is very nice. You can understand what what is what. Uh, that is knowledge. So, tato dharma, tato dhanam, atmani vikiti shakti, kato dharma, tato dhanam. But if you do not understand yourself, what you are, then what is the meaning of your religion and your economic development? If you do not know what you are, first of all you must know what you are and what is your business, what is your destination. What is your aim of life? Then begin work, begin religious, become an economic developer, and so on, so on, so many things. But if you are in darkness to understand yourself, then what is the meaning of the uh, accumulation of wealth or so-called religion, so-called economy? No. no. So here Narad Muni advises uh, that. You have explained dharmadar, so artha. In different literature, you have divided uh, the whole Vedas in uh, understandable language, Puranas. Puranas means supplementary to the Vedas to explain the Vedic knowledge according to the quality. Every human being is under some. Quality of the material nature. Some of them are in darkness or ignorance. Some of them are in uh, passion, and some of them are mixed ignorance and passion, and some of them are in light or goodness. Uh, not all in the same level. There are different classes of men. Uh, Just like uh, in our Hindu library, we find so many philosophical books. But if you go to ordinary man, he will find uh, some nonsensical literature, fiction, and text as well as he reads that. According to text, according to text, different text. 
because there are different classes of men. Ah. That will be explained in the next part. Ah. He says, Narmani, Natat Vatas Chitrapadam Harerajasa Jagat Pavitram Pradhinita Karichi Tad Vaisam Pitham Ushanti Manasa Najatra Hamsa Niramanti Fixa. So he is comparing all the books written by Vyasdev, including the Vedanta philosophy. He says that this is Vyasatitam. Vyasatitam, Vyasa means crows. And the crows and their um, place of pleasure. Have you seen crows? And in India we have got many crows. In your country, crows are not free. Uh, but in India, the crows, they take pleasure in all nasty things. Uh, the crows. We you find they will uh, take pleasure in, in a place where all nasty things are thrown, garbage. They pick out the garbage, uh, find out whether there is milk, whether there is pus, whether just like uh, flies. They will sit down on the stool, makkhika uh, pranavachana, and the uh, bees, they will try to take honey. Even in the animals, you will see. The honey, the bees will never come to the stool. And the ordinary flies will never go to uh, collect honey. Uh, similarly, there are divisions in the birds, divisions in the bees, divisions in human society. So you cannot expect that uh, ordinary person will come to Krishna consciousness. Mm-hmm. Because they have been trained to become flies. They will test stool. Really? The modern education is to teach people to become flies, only stool. Not here, Krishna consciousness. But you make it a honeycomb. Those who are after sitting after honey, they will find where it's sent. Don't make it a stool society. Make it a honey society. At least good chance those who are sitting after honey. Don't cheat people. So they will come. So here, Narayana says that you have compiled so many books. That's all right. So what is the idea? The idea is dharma You are teaching the years principle uh, that uh, um, there are uh, twenty vinsati uh, dharma dharma shastra. This manusangita, parasarmani, law, and uh, Social custom, these are so many places there are. But these are originally uh, by different stages. But as they made a compiling just for proper use, people can uh, understand them. So he has explained all these books for use of the human society undoubtedly. How to become religious, how to uh, develop economic uh, position, how to uh, understand what is liberation, uh, how to satisfy uh, rest- restrictedly uh, uh, sense gratification, just like in books, in birthday books, uh, you will find this uh, uh, different kinds of, just like those who are eating flesh. That is also given direction. 
So he does not deny any words. He has made books in such a way that uh, any person reading books, just like in school, there are different classes and different books are recommended for different classes. Similarly, Bhakti has given the whole Vedic literature in such a nice way, in the form of Puranas, that any man can be elevated to the highest position. Reading books like this. Take, for example, that one who is addicted to take intoxication, eating flesh, and sex life, because these are natural in his things. Nobody is required to give lessons, to teach. Nobody is required to be taught how he has to make sexual intercourse. Nobody has to be taken uh, uh, given lesson how he can become intoxicant. Don't you see? The, the intoxicant, uh, intoxicated person, they are becoming automatically. There is no university. There is no education system that you become, take LSA, LSD like this. No. There is a natural tendency to become uh, uh, intoxicated, to take liter, LSD, nausea, what, or very easily can do you sex life. Look at Babayasa, these are natural in these things, they can be uh, automatically. There is, there is no question. Then what is the use of book? The book is for uh, that they do not know. When Vajdev recommends that you must have sex life by marriage, that means the teacher. That means the teacher. You cannot have sex life here and there uh, unrestricted. You have got one wife or one husband, and that is also the only for the eating child. You can have sex life. So many things. The whole idea is the teacher. Not that because I got a wife with the machine for sex life. No, no. And marriage me, that doesn't mean. Marriage does not mean like that. It is less this time. Ah, the whole baby civilization is to bring man to the transcendental platform why he is thinking all his nonsense have to me. No, but not all of it are engaged according to the quality. Similarly, those who are addicted to flesh eating, meat eating, all I believe because I say that I do some meat, but you know, that. A sacrifice an animal before the Jesus God is Kali and to them. So that the man who is eating meat will not revolt. If I say just like many men revolt are that that God or is God? Maria, she revolt. She revolt. She was always trying to please. Oh, why this restriction? Why? Prior to tell if you don't like this restriction, then go ahead. You don't, don't have this restriction. What can we do? So, they, they, they do not want restriction. That is natural tendency. But these pastors are meant for restriction. They try marriage is restriction of sex uh, and offering sacrifice before that is Kali, there is also a restriction of meat eating. We cannot eat meat 
by purchasing from the slaughterhouse. Uh, that is not the command. If you want to eat meat, then you just sacrifice one goat, not uh, I mean, say cows, no. Go. And easier than garden, you take. Gold uh, is recommended to be sacrificed. And so you can say, and in India, the meat eating or flesh eating is not restricted. But uh, not the useful animal, cow, the most useful animal, cow. So, uh, these books, this literature, see, I mean to say basic literature, is meant for restricting our life and elevating ourselves. So, Naru says that you have explained all these uh, religious principles of uh, Sanskrit education in Sanam Zeva very nicely. So, therefore, our Krishna consciousness movement is simply for glorifying the Lord. That is the only business. Not other things are secondary. And that is being taught. So if you, have, you have, if you want to write books, you write books ah, by glorifying the law. Natat matas chitra padang harir jata. The Manara says, chitra padam api vasudeva patirikta anna vishajyana but on the vision of Bhata Chakujya. Siddha Sane comments that except describing the glories of the Lord, any literature, any science, any contribution is simply a jugglery of vocabulary. That's all. Jugglery. Bhata Chakujya. Bhak means vocabulary, and chaturya means jagna. Simply setting some words in a jagnary way is to draw people's attention, to waste time, that's all. Bhaku chaturya. Vasudeva vakirikta anna vishadhyana bhag eva anna vishang bhaku chaturya. Kilam. Kilameva itiya, kilam, it is a insignificant. Chitrapadama pe jad bacha parijyasa napta bhimita. We can write nice books uh, uh, using your literary theria, uh, metaphor, and, and what is called. So many things that are producing nice literature. Yeah. But if there is no glorification of the law, then Hare Jasa Pragnita Tad Bhayasam Tutham. Then it is just like the place where the crows take place. That's all. Because such kind of literature will be accepted by men who are like crows. Tad Bhayasam Tutham. Kākutulyānāṁ kāmināṁ yotisthānaṁ usanti mannante. That's like kāmināṁ. Those are very last food. Oh, what is their pleasant part? That present. That's all. That is urinal. That is the experience. This urinal is very nice place. But we sophisticate. Oh, he finds out. Oh, this is very nice place. We can only study how Bhagavatam, Srimad Bhagavatam is revolting. But, <laughs> but we must talk <laughs> the real thing. <laughs> so this commentator, Siddhar Sami, he has given very nice example. Kamina Roti Roti Sthanam. As the lusty man finds pleasure in the vagina, similarly, this sort of literature, nonsense literature, 
are injured by persons who are just like crow. Not uh, uh, it is called swan. Uh, swan will not go to that place. But they will stretch out some place where there is nice transparent water and look at star lilies and nice trees and good birds. They are taking in the army. And even if you see among the animal society and the bird society, there is discrimination. And if in the human society there is no such discrimination, what kind of civilization there is? A crow civilization. A black crow civilization. Simply it's trying to take pleasure in nonsense, self class, in liquor shop, and um, so called cinema. They are trying to take pleasure there. We not, none of these comparing that the whole so called book uh, describing about the Dharma Takamokha is just like uh, the crackers or the crows play their hunting. Nata the Bhattas Chitta Parana Hare Rijasa, Jagat Pavitra. But if you produce a single detection, wherein simply very purification of thought, anyone who is weak will die from immediately transcendental benefit. Produce the page only back to God. Oh, that will bring revolution to the human society about understanding of spiritual life. Don't produce nonsense literature. Uh, try for one page. Uh, manasa, manasa, sattva pradhane manasi bhattamana, angusa, angusa. Angusa means the swan, therefore called paravangsa. The highly elevated spiritual person is called Parahansa. Parahansa, they are in the society, in the Sanat stage, there are uh, four stages of development. Kutichak, Bahudak, Paribhrajaka Acharya, and Parahansa. Kutichak, uh, when a person takes Sanyas, we live in a cottage outside the village, but does not go home. But he is not accustomed to travel or to beg from door to door. So whole day and night he keeps himself in that cottage, and from his relative and home something is supplied for his clothing. There is the stage of kutisha, to take supply from home. The next stage is uh, Bahuda. When it comes to the understanding that I have given up my home, why should I take help from my home? So why I, I am considering that home is my place. Why not everyone my friend? Uh, everyone is my family, everyone. Uh, that is next stage. So he can go to India. Who is trying to give me one chapat? I will not do it. I cannot do it. Anyone will do it. They are trained also like that. That any grihastha householder, if a sannyasi comes, immediately should be received and respected. That is also very difficult. Sannyasi should be should be treated as the children of the society. Everyone, still there is, if in a village a sannyasi goes, we will get hundreds of invitations. Swamiji, please come, uh, uh, take your vikha of my friend. So he has no a question of uh, eating and living. So many people who will give him shelter. Uh, he will not be in the wilderness. If actually a sannyasi troubles, all over the country has no uh, problem. Uh, 
village to village, everyone is between me. It is called Bahuda. And then Puribraja Kachar. Then when he is still farther elevated, then he gives an instruction. Uh, why he should eat only uh, without giving something to them? He will feel like that. Why for nothing I shall accept food from others? I must give something. So whatever knowledge I have got, I must give to This is Paribhrajra. And when one is experienced in everything, and he above all material affection, that is called Paravana. Hongsa. Why Hongsa means swa? Why we compared with Hongsa? The Hongsa uh, has got the qualification to take the extent. Uh, it will be a swan, milk mixed with water. He, he has got some practice. He simply take the milk casing and the water will be there. Uh, Similarly, Hongsa means one who has taken the essence of the cosmic manifestation. What is that essence? Krishna. Vāsudeva Sarvamiti. Uh, everything, all manifestation, all activities, they are all Krishna's and theirs. Therefore Krishna is the center, just like the same way. What is this material cosmic manifestation? It is the sun, that's all. Similarly, there are millions of suns. Therefore Krishna is the ultimate. Krishna Surya. Sarva karana karanam causes of all cause. So one who takes Krishna, he is Paramahamsa. So every Vaishnava, every devotee of Krishna, pure devotee of Krishna is a Paramahamsa. So you are, we are teaching people to become immediately Paramahamsa. Highest stage of sanna. And the method is simply chanting Hare Krishna. The force is Paramahansa. Vaishnava, Vaishnava means Paramahansa. It is above Brahmi, above sanna. No, but we must be real Vaishnava. Vishnu means Anukulina Krishna Nisilanam, Anavilasita Sinam. There is no other desire, material desire. Desire means material desire. The contaminated desire. It does not mean that we shall not desire to become Krishna conscious. That desire is real desire. And any other desire, Anavilasita, for some material benefit, that is not the desire. Uh, if we can keep ourselves without any material desire, without any uh, propensity for enjoying fruity results, uh, I am doing something, I must enjoy this result, uh, I must be, uh, enjoy. This is called uh, jnana karma. Oh, I must try to understand uh, Krishna by my speculative method. Uh, why? Krishna is explaining himself. Why don't you try to understand him that way? Nonsense, what a speculative power you have got. Simply you will uh, come in blunder. Why? Krishna says, I am this, I am this, I am that, I am that. This is what was it explained. God says. Why don't you understand it as you say? Huh? If I say that I am from India, my birthplace is in Calcutta, I've got five children, I was formerly a businessman, why, why do you understand to speculate about this? What is the use of this speculation? If you actually want to know what Swamiji is, Swamiji says that I was uh, also a lab, and I was doing medical business, I bought five children, and this and that. So that is sufficient 
Why do you want to know Samiji by speculation? Similarly, do just tell to try to understand Krishna by speculation. No, there is no need. No. Param. That is Param. So, Sikhal Swami says, Hamsa Jatayu. Jatayu means great sages, saint people. Hamsa Jatayu. Jatra na niramanti karitutapi nitrang na ramanti. It's like our student, Krishna conscious person, if he is invited, come on, there is a nice picture in the cinema. No, he will never go. He will never go. <laughs> because he has become samsa. He is not a crow uh, that he will go to such places. Why? What is that? So, samsa. Here he says, Tadvāyasa sadga, tadvāyasa, tadvāyasa, pītham usanti mānasā. They reject, reject. Usanti mānasā, najatra hamsā, niramanti sikta. There was an incident in my life. I was, of course, at that time householder. So, yeah. one my friend, he was going to cinema with his friend, and he uh, saw me, I was in the street, and he immediately stopped his car, and he asked me that you come, we are going to cinema. So I refused, and he could give me one thousand dollars, he still I can not go to cinema. Uh, so he dragged me, so he took me to the cinema house, but I never entered. Uh, I came back. Because it was detested. So when one becomes completely separated from all this material reserve, even if you offer him some profit, he will not accept. That is scary. Nagatra Hamsa Niyamanti Utiksaya, because his mind is at all in greater things. Utiksa. Brahma. Utiksa means a Brahma. Utik Kamanya Brahma Chayo Nivasa Dhishanti. Jata Prasidya Hamsa Manasi Sarasi Charanta. Siddharsan is saying, just like Swan. They took pleasure in the Manasarava, in a place where transparent water, lily, and very nice garden. Uh, they took pleasure. Jatha prasiddhya hamsa manasi sarsi karanta kamuniya padma sanna nivas. You will find a swan, a devil gathered. Uh, near the lotus flower and dive there and entangle them with the chain, that is their pleasure. Uh, to remain surrounding the lotus flower. Kamanya Padmasanna Nivasa Bhakta Vichitrana Tapta Vichitrana Rijuktopi Rijuktopi Uttishta Gatti Kakutkila Sthani Nanjamanti uh, they are not like the crows who are simply uh, trying to take some pleasure from the garbage. What is there in the garbage? They are all rejected, thrown away. But the crows will go there to uh, pull on something, either something, either something. So as there is uh, a natural distinction between the crows and the swan, Similarly, there is distinction between a Krishna conscious person and an ordinary person. The ordinary person are compared like the crows, and uh, a fully Krishna conscious person is just like uh, swans and ducks. <coughs> then he says, 
तद्वादनता विप्लव जस्मिन प्रतिश्लोक अबद्ध वर्तु हैंड Other kind of literature, what is that? Tadbhag visarga janata gupta. Just mean pratishlo ko mavadva. The literature presented to the people, to the public, or reading, uh, which are even grammatically incorrect. Uh, but because there is glorification of the law, we can produce revolution. Uh, we can purify the whole human society. My Guru Maharaj, when we were selecting articles to be published in the Harmony, if we see simply that there is several times the writer has written Krishna, Lord Caitanya, and like that, he passes in the Raja. It's all right. <laughs> there are so many times he has uttered Krishna and Caitanya, so it is all. <laughs> so similarly, uh, even if we present our vast garden and we are literature in broken language, it does not matter because the glorification of the Lord is there. And that is the command. Now, Tadbhag Vishad Gat Janata Agbi Janata Agha Agha means uh, sinful activity. <coughs> If one reads one line of this literature, although it is presented in broken language, but if he simply hears there is Krishna, then he is sinful at the beginning of the Janata Janatāga Vipra. Tadabhāga Vishaka Janatāga Vipra, Jasmin Pratishlokam Avadhavat, Nāvāni Anantas Anantami Shādhīta. His name, his fame, his glory, his quality are described. Namani anantas jasam kitani. The glorification is there. Uh, even they are presented in broken language. Then, sinnanti gayanti jinanti sadhava, just like my Guru Maharaj, uh, sadhu, a saintly person, immediately passes right? away. He's all right. He's all right. Because there is his glorification of the law. Uh, of course, hmm. uh, general public will not understand, but this is the standard, standard version spoken by Narada. Uh, we write something, the aim should be simply to glorify, you should say, being a literary, pavitra, very far. Uh, and however nicely, Uh, either literally or metaphorically or poetically, you write some literature which has nothing to do with God or Krishna. Uh, that is vāyāsati, uh, that is pleasure, what, for the crows. This is the version of Nārāda Mani. We should be taking note of this. And, uh, for the Vaishnava, there is one qualification, uh, poetry. Because everyone should be poetic. Uh, uh, so, but that poetry, that poetry language should be simply to glorify Lord. So, if you try to understand everything in relation to the Krishna, then you understand Vastava reality. That is reality. Uh, if you understand, if you study something minus Krishna, that is not real knowledge. Actually, Krishna is the original cause of all. Bhagavad Karana Karana. So, unless you come to the point of Krishna, any understanding, any knowledge is impossible.